right, Sandy. Okay, I'm back. Okay, again, the idea is point B. Be really clear where we're going, right? So the first thing is, if I'm going to get across, I can't mount from this front side. I have to go over a torso, get into the pits here. Okay. Um, let's just first demonstrate what could go wrong, okay? First and foremost, when you're in this position, your feet are towards your flyer's face, just like in well. So really mindful of stepping there, right? So nice wide feet. Um, two, this kind of lateral fall, big deal, right? You're so low on the ground, your feet are so low, you're, you're good to go. It's the falling back, right? You can't see falling back. So one thing I've learned recently is if you fall back, the easiest thing to do, you could bend. Uh, I found it easy if you just bring your knees wide out. I'm just sitting on you like that. <laughs> I feel like that's safe. Exit. <laughs> I feel like that's a safe fall. Um, okay. If, if you feel like that's something from that height feels might good for you. get the wind knocked out of you. Yeah. Okay. But that's better than feet to the face yeah. or your head to the concrete. That's yeah. true. So let's do that little feet bend again that you did, okay. Sammy. So if you're falling back, she just bent her knees, and I'm low already. I'm this low. So that works too. <laughs> I think at some point you may just end up laying down. But the, yeah. I think the feet bending works the best. Because okay. some of the weights on the shins, and then mm -hmm. naturally the body just slips through, and then you fall into the stomach like that. Yeah. So falling wise, really safe. Um, it's mostly the basis job to keep you safe in this one. But you're low enough to where it's not a big deal, right? So this, again, let's uh, get really clear about what point B is. Uh-oh, we got a second visitor. We got a second buddy, okay. <laughs> so nope. here, Hi. feet placement first and foremost. If your feet are, if the heels, hey buddy. Hi. Hey buddy. <laughs> so confused, aren't you? Sorry. Um, <laughs> so the, uh, if the heels are in the armpit to carry, that's going to be uncomfortable. We know that, right? Yeah. yeah. So we're going for right good. in the middle the of the pattern. foot. Yeah, the middle is good. Okay. So from there, my first another common mistake is the fly would want to go like this. You want to keep your hips back to this one. Okay. Keep your butt against the bases and shins or okay. knees. Okay. From there, I want you to grab your own hands tight and engage your core. And your job is to bring your feet up. She's going to help support your legs like this, right? Okay. So that's point A. Okay, from there, since you're so flexible, we'll use that as a strength. I'll have you reach underneath your calves here and then come out into a split bend. Too fun! And then Sammy can support my legs if he wants, but if he feels like she has the balance, he can just go without, right? Yeah. And your job is to find that 90 degrees to where it feels really nice and balanced for you, right? So nice and wide. Boom. Okay. And then. Could you bring your hands to the inside? Yeah. Would that be like another grip option? Okay. Yeah. You're doing there. Okay. Um, you know, grab your toes. Just like what would, just wondering what yeah. would make you fall. Toes, I lose some contact under your arms. Yeah. Yeah, you're slipping just a little. Okay. So keep it ankles inside mm -hmm. or outside. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's give that a try. 